we're going to look at multiplication and division by 1 and 0. So multiplication by 1, really simple, right? Because we've just got to go back to how we think about multiplication. What's 6 times 1? Well, when we think of multiplication, we talk about it as there being 6 groups. And in each group, there's just one little person. So how many people are there in total? Obviously, there are 6. 1 times 6, we expect to get the same answer because we know 6 times 1 and 1 times 6 are the same. 1 times 6 would mean we've just got one group. And in that one group, there are 6 people. Well, how many people are there in total? 6. Simple as anything. Okay, what about division? Now we're going to look at 6 divided by 1. Now just remember, there were two ways we could write division. So we could either write it like we have here right we could write it here 6 divide 1 or we can write it in this way 6 divide 1 so these are both exactly the same thing okay there were also two ways we could think about division so we could think about division as about being about sharing so we could think about it as saying we've got six sweets and we've just got one person that needs to share those six sweets. Well, if there's only one person standing there, we give them six sweets and they've just got to share it with themselves. Obviously, they're going to get all of them. So they're going to get six sweets. The other way we can think of division, if you remember, is asking ourselves the question, how many groups of one are there in six? So how many ones are there in six? Well, obviously, there are six ones in six. Easy. Okay, the zero should be very easy for multiplication as well, right? If we've got z six times zero, it means we've got six groups, but there's nobody in each group. So how many people have we got in total? We've still got nobody because we've got six lots of nothing. It's nothing. And similarly, zero times six, well, we'd expect it to be the same. And it is because what that means is we've got no groups of six people. How many people have we got in total? Well, if we've got no groups, we've got no one. The division one is interest, more interesting. If we do 6 divided by 0, what you're going to see is it just simply doesn't make sense at all. So we've again got our two different ways of writing our division, 6 divided by 0 or 6 divided by 0. Okay, so what do we think about if we think about division in our two different ways as well? If we've got 6 sweets and we've got no people that need to share them. So I'm going to hand 6 sweets over to no people and ask the people to share them. Mm, this doesn't really make any sense, does it? Because there's no people to share the suite. So I can't even ask how many, how many does each person get? Well, there are no people. Makes no sense, right? And similarly, if I ask myself how many zeros are there in six, that just seems like a funny question to ask. I mean, you know, if I ask myself how many ones are there in six, I can easily see that there are, if I take these little six, there are one, two, three, four, five, six ones. If I ask how many twos are there in six, I can see there's one, two, three twos in six. But if I ask myself how many zeros are there in six, it just simply doesn't make any sense. And so because of that, we say that doing zero 6 divided by 0 is undefined. And you'll see, if you pop it into a calculator and say 6 divided 0, you'll get an error. OK, quickly pause the video, check that you've got this, take 3 seconds to write down the answers to all of these on a piece of paper. Let's check you've got the right answer. That's 0, that's 593, this one is the one that's undefined, and this one is just 62. Multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, 1000 is really easy because our number system is a base 10 number system. So basically, if you have a look here in your place value table, um, as you come up the place value table, you're multiplying by 10 each time. And as you go down the place value, you're dividing by 10 each time.
So if you take 0, 0, 0,05, multiply by 10, you get 0, 0,5. You're just changing the place value of the 5, kind of moving it over to the left. 0, 0,5 multiplied by 10 becomes 5. And 5 multiplied by 10 becomes 50. And 50 multiplied by 10 becomes 500. 500 multiplied by 10 becomes 5,000. And dividing by 10 is just the opposite way round. 6,000 divided by 10 becomes 600. So you kind of moving the place value of the 6 over to the right. 600 divided by 10 becomes 60. 60 divided by 10 becomes 6. 6 divided by 10 becomes 0 0.6. And 0 0.6 divided by 10 becomes 0 0.06. So it's very easy then to do a multiplication by, say, if you sort of got to say 30 multiplied by 100, what you're seeing is that you've got 30 and it's multiplied by 100, which is a 10 and another 10. So you're going to go 30, move it over and over to get 3,000, right? So it's going to become from the 30 you're going to move over twice to become 3000 and if you have for example 6 divided by 100 right well then what you're going to do is you're going to say you're at 6 and you're going to divide by 100 so divide by 10 divide by another 10 it's going to be 0 0.06 that place value of the 6 has moved over 1 2 to the right Okay, so two quick examples of how this then becomes very useful for us, this multiplying by 10 and dividing by 10, etc. If we, do, we know that 6 times 14 is 84, how does that help us get 60 times 140? Well, immediately we know that 60 is just 6 times 10, 140 is just 14 times 10. So what we've got here is 6 times 14, which gives us the 84. But then we've got to multiply it by 10, multiply it by 10. So our answer is 8,400. And then similarly, if we know 12 times 3 is 36, right? How, do, how can that help us work out 1.2 times 3? Well, 1.2 times 3 is just like 12, but it's been divided by 10. And here we've just got a 3. Well, we know the 12 times 3 would just give us the answer of 36. But we need to divide it by 10. And when we divide by 10, we just change the place value to be 10 times smaller. And so we get 3, 6. OK, if I tell you that 36 divided by 9 is 4, I want you now to do these three that follow. Uh, pause the video and try it for yourself. Okay, hopefully you remembered the relationship between multiplication and division. So knowing 36 divided by 9 is 4, you know 4 times 9 is 36. So 40 times 900 is easy. It's going to be 36000. Zero, zero, zero. And then if we do this, 3600 0, 0 divided 90, I quite like to do it this way. It makes it very easy for me to see what's going on. So I rewrite my division like that. And then I know that this is 36 times 10 times 10. And 90 is just 9 times 10. The 10s cancel each other. That I know, 36 divided by 9 is 4. So I've got 4 times 10, which is 40. This 3.6 divided by 9. Well, 3.6 is just 36 that's been divided by 10. So we know that 36 divided by 9 is 4. And this, we didn't start with 36, we started with 10 times less. So we also need to be 10 times less in our answer. So it's just going to be 1 up in the number, um, in that kind of place value table. So it's 0 0.4.